So here we are inside of Amazon Web Services. Should have connected by now and you should have done a basic tutorial on how to set up uh, instances. We're going to set up two, but pay attention how I do it because it's going to be important to kind of organize this. We're going to use GPG. We're going to work with asymmetric encryption. And so you can see I've got some terminated instances here. We're going to ignore those for now. Those will uh, disappear after a while. I've stopped an instance and I can go in. You can do um, instance state. You can always terminate an instance. It's going to uh, warn you about it, at which point uh, that is no longer a part of the Amazon infrastructure. Eventually those will disappear. So ignore those that are stopped or terminated here. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to launch an instance. I'm going to launch two instances. Standard T2 micro instances. Everything is going to pretty much stay the same. We'll go in and um, you're going to use the same key pair for both. Now I've got a key pair here that I've created that I'm using for mine key pair back. I know where that is, that PPK file that I created using PuttyGen. And I'm going to launch that. And I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to create one more instance here, a Ubuntu instance. I'm going to walk through that same process. We're going to launch it. I'm going to choose my key pair that I know where my private key is so I can get in. And I'm going to launch that. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. And um, you can see I've got two machines here that are spinning up. So I'm going to wait for those to get ready and then we'll take our next step. And you can see here that I'm now up and running. I've got uh, two of two checks passed for each one, running, running. So the first one on the top here, however you want to do it, we're going to match a couple of names here to a couple of save sessions. So if you need to pause or whatever, uh, you can, you'll know where things are. And you want to follow this as we use AWS later on and we get into like multiple machines. You want to name something here that matches something inside of Putty so you know what you're connecting to. It makes sense. We have a public IP address of this one of 125.164.126. So I'm going to make that one my first machine, 100.25.164.126. Hundred twenty-five, one sixty-four, one twenty-six. Good. SSH. Now I'm going to call this one private GPG back. Now you give it your last name, whatever you want, but this is a GPG lesson, and we're creating sort of a client that's going to generate a private key. Okay. So we want to go down to our authorization down here, and uh, under auth, I'm going to browse for my private key, my PPK file. If you're not sure about that, uh, I will refer you to the correct location to learn all about that. And we want to save it before we connect. So I'm going to save that. And now I've got my private GPG back here. Now up here at the top for this one, I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to choose instant settings. I'm going to add and edit tags. We're just going to give it a tag. I'm going to create a tag. We're going to say name and I'll go ahead and I'll call this GPG private. We'll save that up. All right. So now I've got a private one. Now we're going to do the same thing inside of uh, Putty. And we're going to create a new session for our new machine, 3.85.171.45 in my case. And I'm going to call this public. This is where this is just going to be kind of like a public client out there that wants to decrypt something or We'll figure it out. It's a public private key pair. We'll work all that out, but we'll call one private, one public. Um, yeah, same thing under auth here. I'm going to use my same key for both machines, and that's perfectly fine. And under session now, I'm going to save that. So now I've got a public that I can load with a three address, and I've got a private I can load with a 100 address. Let's go ahead and try to open those up. Logging in with my name of Ubuntu, authenticating, boom, I'm into the command line for one. And let's open up Putty here. And let's do the...
Now, the other thing I can do is I wasn't sure which one I just clicked on, right? I just like, oh, I opened one. What did I, which one did I just open? Because it sure doesn't say private up here, right? So you can see that this one has an internal Amazon Web Service, uh, like a private address of 172.31.62.205. Nice thing about Amazon is you can connect all your internal resources without exposing them to the internet. So it gives you a private IP as well that we can work with. And so 172.31.62.205, I can see here, is my private. All right, 172.31.62.205. Now, uh, so I know that I'm logged into my private based on the fact that I have an internal IP that matches the private IP that I see down here with it highlighted. Now, I didn't give this a um, tag, so I'm going to do the same thing with this. I give it a name of GPG public. So now I've got both of these saved, so I kind of know where they are, and I can look and see what the IP address is in case I'm confused. My public has an internal IP of 172.31.92.90, right? Okay, so let's. I need to get into my public server here. Logging in with the default name of Ubuntu with your private key all set up. And you can see 172.31.92.90 is our private IP here. Now I'll make my... Um, Putty text boxes bigger so that we can read them in future lessons. But if you're set up and you've got set up like this, you've got your two machines running on Amazon. You've got a session saved for private. You've got a session saved for public. You are logged into both of those sessions here. Uh, we are ready to move on to the next video.